Hello, so if you remember in the last few videos, we've kind of got to this position. We've talked about how we can create a very simple looking question setup um, where you've literally just got the questions and you've got space for students to put their answers. You've got an answer line. You've changed how the points look. You've also changed how the questions, sort of the parts and the question numbers also look as well. So I think now we can start to talk about how we can make this document look a little bit prettier. So I think one of the things which I wanna do is actually put a box around every single page. So it shows to students that you should write within this margin. So you should write within this box here. And the way to do that is using the T color box. Okay, and we'll use T color box quite a lot in the future videos as well. So if you come up to use package, you need to install the package T color box. So I'm gonna go backslash, use package, and then I'm gonna use my curly brackets and the package I'm gonna install is T color box. And remember, it's all done with American English as well. So it's C-O-L-O-R for color. Okay, uh, I'm also gonna use the parameter here. So I'm just gonna use the square brackets in between the use package and the T color box. And I'm just gonna use the parameter most, okay? So now I'm ready to actually create a box around every single page. Now I'm kind of gonna just give you the code to do this um, and then you can kind of fiddle around and see what everything is gonna do uh, and fiddle around with the different sort of options and parameters to get it looking exactly how you want it to do. But what I'm gonna do first of all is create a T color box and I'm gonna create it before the questions and this is crucial. It has to be after I've started the document but before I started the questions. So you can see I'm just gonna put a line between the begin document and the begin questions and I'm just gonna do begin T color box, okay, and I put that in curly brackets. Now obviously it's all gone red because I need to also end the T color box. So you notice where I've started it, I've started it begin the between the document and the questions, which means my end T color box needs to go in the same position. So begin the in between the questions and the uh, document. Okay, so I'm gonna go end T color box, like so, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is come back up here to the begin T color box, and I'm gonna change some of the parameters. Okay, so I'm gonna change the parameters by using my square brackets. Okay, so the first things first, I'm, um, well actually first things first, I'm gonna put percentage here next to where I've opened the uh, square brackets and I'm just gonna type a few parameters on a new line. Okay, so first things first, what parameters am I gonna use? Well, I'm gonna use enhanced, okay? I'm gonna use breakable, that just allows me to put uh, a T color box on every single page, so the box will go around every single page. And I'm also gonna put frame hidden. Okay, so I'm going to hide the frame. And then I'm going to talk about how this overlay is going to look. So I'm going to talk about how this uh, box is actually going to look. So I'm going to go overlay, oops, overlay, broken, equals, and then I'm going to open and close square brackets. Okay, so let's have a look. Sorry, not square brackets, curly brackets, my mistake. Okay, so overlay broken equals, then I'm going to put curly brackets here. Okay, so this is where I'm actually going to define what my box is going to look like. So I'm just going to put it on a new line. Now in order to do this, I'm gonna be using something called ticks, okay? So this is something called ticks figure. We will explore ticks figures in later videos, um, but for the moment, all I'm gonna do is just draw a rectangle around every single page. So you see here, I've got my page. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle around every single page. So I'm gonna go draw. I'm gonna put some parameters in, okay? So I'm gonna put them in square brackets immediately after draw. Uh, I'm gonna define the line width, okay? So line space width and I'm gonna do it as 0.5 millimeters. Obviously you can do this to be whatever you like. And you can fill around until you get it looking just how you want. Then I'm also gonna define the line color. So I'm gonna do a gray rectangle. And what else am I gonna do? I'm also gonna do rounded corners because I think that looks nice. So it's round, uh, rounded space corners. Okay, so those are my parameters done. So now let's actually start by drawing this rectangle. Now the rectangle, I need to find the start position of the rectangle and the end position of the rectangle. Now, going around every single page is effectively a frame, okay? And the frame is defined by my margins. Remember, I've already defined the margins before in one of the previous videos. So if you can imagine, there's already a frame going around every single page. So I'm gonna use that to define how I'm gonna draw the rectangle. By the way, you can't see the frame, it's hidden, but trust me, there is a frame going around every single page. So I'm gonna first of all start the rectangle at the top left-hand corner. Okay, if I use this one, then the um, tools don't get in the way. I'm gonna start at the top left-hand corner and I'm gonna draw the rectangle right the way down to the bottom right-hand corner. So just behind me, so the bottom right-hand corner down here. Now, when I define positions, okay, I'm gonna put these in uh, ordinary brackets, okay? So I'm gonna start off one set of parentheses 
And then this is my finish set. Okay, so this is the start of my rectangle. First set of parentheses is my start. End, second set of parentheses is my end. In the middle, I'm just gonna write rectangle. So I'm gonna tell LaTeX that I wanna draw a rectangle between whatever goes in this set of brackets to whatever goes to this set of brackets. So start and then finish. So the start point is gonna be in the top left part of the frame. So I'm gonna type frame dot. Now I can't type top left because positions with ticks figures are nearly always given in terms of my compass directions. So instead of saying top left, this would be the north west. Okay, so I'm gonna go frame dot north space west. Okay, and my end position, so I come to my second set of rectangle, uh, second set of parentheses, it's gonna be frame dot. Well, I can't type uh, bottom right, I've gotta type south east. Okay, so I'm just doing it in terms of compass directions. All right. So this is how I'm gonna draw my rectangle. Uh, and actually, because I've finished my ticks figure, I need to always put a semicolon at the end. Tell LaTeX that I've finished my, my ticks figure, okay? So basically, believe it or not, all of this is actually all part of my overlay broken. So I need to actually finish off my um, overlay broken back bracket. You see here, I've got an open, bra uh, open curly bracket. I need to also close my curly bracket. Okay, so now I can carry on with my parameters. So I've got enhanced, breakable, frame, hidden. Um, what other parameters do I want? Well, I guess, first of all, I want to define the color of this, uh, of the back of the rectangle. So I'm gonna go comma because I wanted to find a new, uh, a new parameter and it's gonna be col back. So C-O-L-B-A-C-K, all one word. And in this case, I just want it to be white. I want it to be the same as the color of my page. Of course, you can change this to be gray or red or green or whatever you want, but I think white will be perfectly fine here. Okay, so cold back equals white. Um, what else do I wanna do? I also wanted to find to LaTeX that I want the height of this rectangle um, to be height, to be fixed for, and I want it to be every single page. So I'm just gonna type all here, okay? So that's it. I've finished everything about my T color box. So I finished all the parameters. So that means that I can actually close my square bracket, which I originally opened all the way back up here, okay? And then just because I want to do it on every single page, I'm just going to type an empty input box. So an empty set of curly brackets like so. Now let's click compile and let's see what we get. So if we click compile, it's going to take slightly longer now because I'm actually getting it to draw stuff. But you can see that there is a box going around every single page. Okay. And obviously I can change the positioning of this box by fiddling around with my margins. But in actual fact, I'm going to be putting things at the top and things at the bottom of the page in the next video anyway. But anyway, you can fiddle around with the different parameters which we've defined here to get this box looking exactly like you want.